Hello everybody, welcome back to the Amateur Hunting Channel. Today we're going to be going for a small game again at a place called Schroeder, which is just to the uh, south east of Red Deer. Um, one of the reasons why I picked this place in particular is that I've been on my list right now of what is the next small game is going to be a jackrabbit. So white-tailed jackrabbits, according to my research online, tend to like more open areas. So here, you can see there's some trees in the distance there, but it's a lot more open here than any of the other areas I've been to. And so far, it seems like snowshoe hares are the only ones that like that really dense cover. Whereas the jackrabbits are more of a, like to stay out in the open and kind of have some cover nearby, but not a whole heck of a lot. So we're gonna try our luck here, take a walk, um, see if we can find ourselves that jackrabbit. If not, see if down in the trees, down in the lower valley there is more suitable for snowshoe hares. And if we're even lucky too, a porcupine might even make its home here. So those are the three animals that we're gonna hope to take our chances and see if we can find it today. Now one of the things I have to be mindful of in this area is that there are farms nearby and there are houses. So every single time that I may have a shot, I have to be very mindful of where that shot is going to go afterwards. And I also have to be mindful of my proximity to some houses. Like behind me, there's a red barn just through those trees behind me there. So I'm not gonna be taking any shots of any kind in this little tree line. I'm separating the properties. It's not a, it's not good etiquette to do that. So I'll be heading down, down in the valley, see if we can find ourselves anything like that. Um, the website I've been using is an Alberta conservation app. It's really, really helpful. I love that thing. It uh, helps you find anything you want. You want hiking, you want fishing, you want hunting. This app does all that for you. Um, so I can leave a link and make it in the, leave it in the description of this video for anyone else that likes to uh, try and find some new areas in the, to go and hunt. So in the meantime, let's uh, I'm gonna pick up my gun here, trusty 22, and hopefully we can find ourselves a rabbit today. And this is the first mostly wooded area of this plot of land. And one of the areas where I think there might be some hares, possibly, or the jackrabbit, or even a porcupine. You guys can even see this, but these are the faintest rabbit tracks I've ever seen. They are very old, but so far it's the first evidence we've found coming from over there. And it goes in this direction. As you have to remember, they have the two hind legs, the two hind legs and the front leg. So the rabbit is going to be going in this direction here, jumping off the back landing on the front. So we're gonna track this, despite how old it is, and try and see if we can find a location where the rabbits are possibly hanging out. So much for following those tracks. <laughs> it seems like the wind has uh, whisked them away. So what I've tried to do is try and figure out, it looks like the rabbit might have gone down in the valley a bit more. I mean, that kind of does make sense with rabbit behavior that I've seen at Sylvan, uh, not Sylvan, what am I saying? <clears throat> the behavior I see at Innisfil. Because um, those rabbits there tend to gather at the lower areas of the, of the part where I go hunting. Like where I go hunting, there's a small, a very small ridge that's just to the side of the area where I've been finding all the rabbits at Innisfil. So my guess is that the rabbits sometimes came into this little wooded area back here behind me to eat a little bit, but then they proceed more down into this valley. So I'm guessing um, I don't have any more tracks to follow. Like I said, the wind unfortunately blew the snow off the tracks there, but what I'm thinking is maybe if I go down towards this valley here just a little bit and kind of follow it all the way around, have some better luck so either way it's, you know sometimes with hunting you're not going to see very much and you don't have very much to work on so you just have to sort of think about 
where you found success and start thinking to yourself, why do you think you found success in that area? So my thinking is this area, I really like it. And I liked it on Google Maps for one reason. It looked like it was open and it had a lot of small, um, small uh, brush and small trees. And the thing about rabbits is they like eating that stuff. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to check out this area particularly. Um, so let's keep working, keep hiking, hopefully find some more tracks. I'm gonna make my way um, over here. Um, I gotta tell you, the snow today is horrendous. It's uh, It's been warm in Alberta for the past couple weeks. So, and then today it's minus, I think it was minus six when I left. So there's like this thick, hard, thick, this, this snow is thick and hard and crusty. So like there are some areas where you can walk on top of the snow and then there's some areas where you just fall right in. So it's been a bit of a hard hike so far. Um, don't imagine I'm going to be out here very long today. It's going to get very tiring very quickly. Um, but anyways, just keep hiking. Hopefully I can show you guys some more ways of learning how to adapt to different areas. But I wanted to point this out here. This tree has been uh, rubbed off completely. Now, the problem that you're you can come into, which is what I'm having here, is knowing the difference between that being a deer scrape, where the deers are scraping their antlers against the trees, versus the rabbits eating. Um, I mean, this one here, it looks very clean. Like, it doesn't look like there's any real teeth marks. Except, like, near the top, it's kinda, kinda hard to tell there. So, I mean, to me, I'm kind of leaning more towards this being possibly a deer scrape with how clean it is. Because usually if it was um, eaten by a rabbit, you'd be seeing some like teeth marks and stuff like that. So anyways, I saw that off as I was hiking and I had to check it out. Because one thing you want to pay attention to is not just looking for rabbits and tracks, but looking to see if they've eaten anything. So again, looks very promising here. And as you can see, trying to hike through here, it's just, holy cow, it's the biggest pain ever. <laughs> Standing on top of the snow and all of a sudden just sneak, <laughs> sinking down. So anyways, I'm gonna keep hiking here. Keep looking, hopefully catch something. But if not, that's okay. Well, I feel like you guys, I've been out here for a few hours now. That I haven't found <sighs> anything at all yet. I finally in an area right now where I'm seeing some more tracks, but they're all all of the tracks are like snow covered and they appear to be very old. But um, I'm also been noticing that there's a lot of food being eaten here. But I wanted to stop here specifically just to say this is why I hunt not just about going out for animals. I mean, yeah, I would love to have a rabbit right now, but man, soaking in this view, that's part of the reasons why I like doing this so much. So that even when you go out, yeah, you're looking for tracks and all that, but take some time and just enjoy everything that you see and start getting a bit of appreciation of the outdoors and Really, that's what I'm trying to promote with this channel is trying to show people how you could do things with limited resources, limited skills, be safe, but go out and start learning and start enjoying everything outside. I mean, with COVID, we've been cooped up for so many, for well, it's almost, actually it's getting to a year now where we've been all cooped up, told to stay inside. But I mean, it's only me out here. It doesn't honestly get much better than this. So if anything, I mean, I'd love to be able to show in this video an animal and hunting, but even if I don't, just showing you the, the beautiful view and the appreciation that I have, and that hopefully that you guys, all the viewers start to develop for the outdoors. So in any case, if this is the, if I'm gonna, I'm starting to head back to my car now. Um, it's quite hilly here, so it's gonna be quite the, uh, quite the trek. 
but uh, this area does look promising. So, I mean, if I do find something, cool. If not, pretty damn good day though.